This program is brought to you by Emory University. In India, as elsewhere, um, religious sensitivities seem to have been politicized. You know, there's a lot of people using um, religious rhetoric to um, criticize this or that work of art. I say it's not just me, it's a lot of people right now. Um, Deepa Mehta having her film set attacked by Hindu fundamentalists, um, you know, MF Hussain being driven out of the country. Um, many other cases, there's actually quite a lot of cases. Just a few weeks ago, there was a case of a, of a gay painter in Delhi being physically attacked in, in the gallery which was showing his work. Um, and it's, it's and all of these attacks are justified by some form of religious sentiment, you know, all of them. Um, and, you know, I mean, I've had this argument for a very large part of my life, you know, and, and, and at the point that I am right now is my view is, if you don't like the stuff, you don't have to read it, you know. Um, and, uh, and there are plenty of people, I know a lot of people who back at the time when the Satanic Verses first came out felt one thing, you know, and then like 10 years later, they took the trouble to read the book. And many of them wrote to me or said to me personally when I met them that they couldn't see what the fuss was about, even though they had been the people making the fuss. You know, so there is a way in which the passage of time is helpful, you know, because, the passage, because uh, it, allows, it allows certain kinds of temper to cool and allows people actually to do the work of actually finding out what it is they're supposed to dislike and often discovering they don't dislike it. And if they do dislike it, you know, there's other books for them to read. Um, so at this point, I mean, I have got sort of nothing to say about people who don't like the stuff. I mean, I think books are, books are fortunate if they find people who do like them, you know, and, and the things that make a book survive are the affections of the readers, not the, not the, host, not the controversy, not the hostility. You know, books don't survive for that reason. I mean, books, books last in the world if there are enough people who value them. You know, and, and if they don't, then those books don't survive. So, um, and in the end, so therefore, you know, liking a book is what makes it survive, not disliking it. And so I'm more interested in, for obvious reasons, I'm more interested in people who like the stuff you know, than people who don't. I'm just tired of the argument, you know. Um, um, it's been a long time that I've been having that argument. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.